Okay, this is the Valor Fitness assembly video for the CC4. You've received the boxes. First step, make sure you receive box one and box two. Obviously, there's a size difference. If there's a problem, call us at the office. We'll fix it for you. Second is check for the damages on the box. If there is, if you can, take a photograph, email it to us, just so we have record and to maybe file a claim with the carrier how it got to your location. This is how it left as far as the condition. How it arrived, sometimes we don't have control over that, but you can help us solve the problem by taking some pictures. So step one, open the contents. I've kind of jumped ahead here. Open the contents, lay your parts out as far as what you have per box, get rid of all the trash, and you're more efficient to assemble the product. As far as tools, well, I would suggest a 17 millimeter wrench, preferably a boxed in wrench with an open end wrench. We have two right here. These will help assemble the unit. The unit does come with an Allen wrench. That'll happen down the, the road when we start to assemble the setup for the sundial. You can use an impact wrench, but sometimes the power of the gun is a lot stronger than the frame itself. You might dent or crush the, the frame. But if you're good at using it, using it. If not, your boxing wrenches work fine. If all you have are pliers or a crescent wrench, those will work. But again, it's best to have more of a 17 millimeter boxed in wrench and an open mouth wrench. So let's get started. The parts are laid out, box one, box two. You'll find the manual in box one. Let's go to that first. All right, step one, let's get the framework together to build a foundation of the frame itself so all the parts can fit on the foundation. Finger tight the nuts and bolts. Uh, in the, the the nuts we have what we call lock self-locking nuts the self-locking nuts have a little bit of a, a gasket inside it <clears throat> what that is when you lock it down onto the bolt the plastic will grip itself and prevent the nut from vibrating off the old time how i grew up it was more of a lock washer. That's where the washer is cut and half of it sticks up, half of it down. So when the nut comes down, it presses the lock washer. That applies pressure to the nut. It doesn't loosen. But today, they're called self-locking nuts. Get all of your nuts and bolts ready out of the package. And lay them accordingly. 